Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Talk with CO2Meter.com. We are the leading CO2 measurement specialist and today I would like to give a demonstration on how to create a data log using a raw carbon dioxide sensor and a personal computer. This setup is a great way to create a data log with minimal costs and setup. This also demonstrates how to test a raw sensor without having to solder it onto a circuit board or integrate it into a system or device. First, you will need to gather a few supplies. The GC25, a 100% CO2 sensor, will be used in this video. This sensor has a 2 Hz measurement rate, which will be important later in the video. You will also need the sensor manual, a RS-232 USB cable, cable testing leads, your PC, and to download a free terminal emulator. In this video, I will be using Termite because it is simple and easy to use and also features a log file setting. However, any free terminal emulator should work as long as it offers some type of log file option. When connecting your cable to the sensor, it is important to remember the color code designation of the wires in the cable. For this demonstration, the brown and green wires will not be used. The black ground, red power, orange transmit, and yellow receive wires will be utilized in communication with your sensor. When connecting the sensor to the cable, it is important to remember that the TX wire will connect to the RX pin of the sensor, and the RX wire will connect to the TX pin of the sensor. Sometimes people make the mistake of connecting RX to RX and TX to TX. This will not damage the sensor, however, you will not have successful communication. Before we begin, there is some information that will need to be gathered from the manuals. Here is the GC25 and an image that represents the bottom of the sensor. This image shows the location and labels for each pin. The chart on the right hand of the screen lists the parameters that will be needed to successfully run your sensor. The first step is going to be connecting your sensor to the cable. Follow the diagram found in the manual or shown previously in this video. Be sure that the metal clips on the leads are not touching one another. Next, we'll open Notepad to create a text file. This is where we are going to initially save our data points. You can close out of the window once it's saved. Now open your terminal. We're going to adjust the settings based off of what we found earlier in the manual. Transmitted text, received text, and options will not be adjusted. Now we're going to select log file and choose the file created earlier. And lastly, in this case, we would like to turn off hex view. Next, we can click to begin. Our sensor begins to read out CO2 in hundreds of ppm. And as I exhale onto the sensor, my readings will begin to adjust. With that increase of CO2, we know that our sensor is functioning properly. Once the desired amount of data has been collected, we can close out our terminal and open the file that we created. Termite creates a date and timestamp of when the log was created. Now we can export that data into Excel. To remove the Z character, go to data, text to column, delimitate, and we're gonna choose by space. We can now delete that column. Now we're gonna add a date and timestamp to the data log. First, type in the date. Then, collect the time when it was first started. It's important to remember that this is a 2 hertz sensor. It takes a reading twice every second. It's going to be important when formatting your time. Skip a space and increase the second time by one second.
Then we can use autofill. Now that we have a proper date and timestamp for the log, we can do other things with the information. So I will save the file. And then create a graph to represent the log that was created. Voila! You've successfully logged data from your CO2 sensor. You can find links to the sensor that was used in this video as well as the terminal emulator software in the video description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss out on updates from CO2 Meter. We'll see you all next week.